firstly, thank you for the warm welcome. It's great to be back here in Bermuda. It feels like I was only here yesterday. Um, the weather's slightly better this time, um, very fresh. So we're really looking forward to getting uh, started here in Bermuda. Now, the criteria this year um, hasn't changed too much. Um, there is three things we're looking for from the players. First thing is we want a player who's going to work their hardest at all times throughout the clinics. And now we spread the clinics over two days, it's very important that they're consistent over the two days. Um, but we have allowed for slight complacency in the terms of if they have a bad day on the first day and they make up on the second day, they still got an opportunity to make it through to the academy. The second thing we're looking for from the players is that we want them to be technically adept in more than one position. So we want them to be able to play possibly a right back as well as a left back for example because ultimately they're going to be playing in matches. So we need them to be able to get more game time and show their versatility in more than one position. And the last thing and most important thing for me and for us at Chelsea is we want this, this young man or these three young men to be wonderful ambassadors for Bermuda. We want them to go to the academy just like the three from last year and fly the flag high for Bermuda and make sure that everybody understands that it's a good footballing nation. Now, what have you experienced thus far this time around, this second mm. time around throughout the Caribbean? What has been the experience this time around? Well, we've had a little bit more say on the pre-clinic um, selection this time. So we've actually sent out a criteria and a quota as to what we expect this time when we arrive in markets. Thus now having a good range of positions. So we're not just looking at attackers um, at the clinic stage. We've actually said that we need a minimum of you know, three or four goalkeepers to make sure it's fair. You know, we are needing to recruit goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders and attackers. We're not just looking for you know all striking team. Um, we want a balanced team. Um, and because of the criteria we've put out, we expect the level to be slightly higher. And having been to Jamaica and Trinidad, the, the level has been higher. You know, the ante has been upped within the last two markets we've been at. Uh, and Trinidad at the moment um, have definitely been the powerhouse of the two. Saturday. Yes, until Saturday, yeah, yeah. We hope Bermuda. I mean, working with the three guys from Bermuda last year was a real privilege because, um, you know, they, like I said, they were wonderful, wonderful ambassadors. But I think more importantly, you know, in the region, um, Bermuda hasn't really got much kind of prowess on the footballing stage. So it's good for these guys to actually put Bermuda on the map. And then the ones that eventually went from the pool together clinic in the... In the uh... Caribbean hmm. that went on to further in the, in the Southeast. How are they making out? How did they make out? Yeah, well, um, well, the exit routes from the program at the moment is something that we're always trying to evolve and we're always trying to expand upon. Um, the MVP from last year's academy, uh, Kadeen Graham from Jamaica, has actually received a full scholarship at University of West Indies Cave Hill, which is a great footballing program. Uh, and that's the type of exit route we want. We want a tangible exit route that players join the program and they look at it and say, look, that's the path I want to take. That's the next step for me. Um, it's a long term development program so we, we don't expect players to be coming and playing for Chelsea immediately um, what we expect is these players to go on to bigger and better things domestically uh, and then we will look at trying to, to create channels into Europe uh, and who knows one day hopefully into Chelsea right. and who are the two gentlemen you've brought with you here? so I've traded my last two coaches in for better looking models uh, yeah. these are the newer ones um, to my left this is Kabina Elliott and to my right, this is uh, Andrew Otley, and they're really looking forward to come to Bermuda. I've given it uh, a lot of praise, and uh, they were particularly looking forward to this uh, this part of the leg. Right. Well, gentlemen, welcome back. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. tomorrow's press conference. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody for hosting us again. We're really looking forward to it and having a day off this year. Um, as last year, I did request a day off in Bermuda, so we got a day off this year, so we're extremely happy. And uh, we owe a massive thank you to everybody who works behind the scenes at Digicel for facilitating us and also facilitating the clinics because, you know, it's the first year last year. Very successful, a wonderful facility here. And this year it's going to get bigger and better.